So welcome back to Aquaponic Gardens in Switzerland. Um, as you see from my previous videos, we're going to open a, a bigger lager, 200 square meters. As I found out, don't go into business with people you don't know pr properly. And renting premises from people you don't can't really trust. This is my new setup. Um, this is set up in my basement so I don't have to pay rent. I um, already saved myself a thousand bucks a month just on uh, renting and so. I'll give you a quick update on how everything's going. As you can see, got a 110 millimeter pipe. This is outflow. Um, these four tanks are hooked up together. The grey pipe on top is the inflow. At the moment I'm still cycling the tanks. Got a few fish in here, have a quick look. Uh, the back corner there. Um, water should get a bit better in the next few days. As you can see, this is a 12 volt battery, a 12 volt air pump. This is my emergency air supply. It runs off of uh, cables to there, down to here. It runs off a battery here. This is hooked up to a, a battery, a special pilot battery charger. This will uh, run my battery, my air supply for approximately nine to ten hours on full gas, and then um, a few more hours after that on lower quantity. But this little pump there. Runs a supply of about uh, 110, 120 litres a minute. So it's plenty of shitload of air on such a small amount of power. Runs at 60 watts. Um, I'm gonna get a few more of them actually. They're so fucking good. Um, this is the my sump tank. This will also be converted soon into an aquaponics bed. Deep water culture, as you can see, everything's new. I've only just finished building, not finished, I only just got around to building that this all this week. Here, I have a moving bed filter full of um, everyone calls it K1 media, um, it's virgin media, um, 12 millimeters in size. Um, per 100 liters of media, you have over 850 square meters of surface area. And there I have 400 liters, so um, I'm running on a few thousand square meters of uh, 3,000 square meters of surface area at the moment. It's still cycling, but uh, it's getting there. Looks like uh, every time I look at it, it looks better and better and better. A little air pump there runs on about 60 liters a minute or so. It's probably not quite big enough, but we'll see how it pans out. At the moment, at the moment, it seems to be getting, being okay. <coughs> this is my heater. Um, it's one kilowatt profi heater. Uh, yeah, one of the professional um, stainless steel heaters. Um, still waiting my power supply to be hooked up properly, and then uh, I'll be getting everything a bit. Everything's gonna look a bit different. Okay, let's look at my swell filter. Water comes in there from the 100 millimeter pipe, swells around, goes under there. This is a, you can't really see it at the moment, the lighting's not so good. It's a 200 micron um, filter. It's a bit like a drum filter, but it's specially made for this system. I'll do an update on that soon, a bit more lighting and so runs off a very small amount of power and there's no wastage, all the power uh, fish shit stays in the filter and it goes through this bio bed into the sump tank and then pump back through this pipe through the heater it's still warming up at the moment as you see the lights on I'm trying to get it up to um, 25 degrees, I'm sitting on about 20 degrees at the moment uh, I'm running about 16,000 litres of water an hour at the moment. 
uh, which means I'll be turning over these tanks about three to four times every hour. Um, there's the air stain, you can see a couple of tilapia there. I've decided to go with tilapia due to the fact that um, they breed easily and uh, I was spending so much money on fingerlings for the trout that uh, I thought why not like, give the tilapia a try. Um, I smoke them and sell them at around about 60 to 100 francs a kilogram. Um, francs is like Swiss francs but it's about one to one with the um, Australian dollar or so. Um, a bit better than American dollar. These tilapia are uh, about 150 grams at the moment. Um, I have a breeding tank upstairs. Um, I can, my system is quite new. It's getting there though. Um, outside it's about minus minus 10 degrees Celsius and it's not going to get any warmer for the next three months. This is Switzerland. Uh, we have down to about minus 20 in winter uh, my house where well, I live a bit in the mountains um, yeah that's my miniature farm it will be turned into aquaponics above each all these tanks will be uh, NFT channels but they will be deep water NFT um, I've come up with a system where um, NFT is shallow water and I lose too much heat through that so I fill the 100 mil 110 millimeter pipes halfway with water comes sort of shallow water to deep water culture and PVC piping and this will all be 100% recycled water um, I'll be holding approximately in these tanks approximately about 80 kilos per cubic meter so I'll have a uh, 320 to 350 kilograms um, every six months. So about 700 to 1,000 kilos per year will come from this r small room. And the only reason why I'm able to do that is due to the fact that I have my breeding tanks upstairs. So we'll take a quick run upstairs. Let's disconnect some power here. Let's excuse the camera. Here we go. I'm going to walk through my cellar. We're underground here um, in an earth cellar. It's fucking cold. Uh, in the room, I'm running on 15 degrees down here. Um, it's all underground in an earth cellar. It's about, uh, I don't know, 4 degrees or something in here. Give me two minutes. I'm going to go upstairs. Yep, so there's one more. This is my aquaponics aquariums. Um, I'll switch the lights on. Got some basil, some strawberry plants, garlic, garnier, a lot of salads going out the top there. I'll have to switch the light on too. Um, just me and my wife eating out of this at the moment, at this one aquarium. It's more than what we can eat. Down here, I don't know if you can see them very well due to the light. Um, there's about 25 to 30 blue tilapias in here. Um, I've already had my first set of eggs come out. They're only about a month old. I've had them for about a month. They're approximately probably two or three months old. Um, all weighing in are probably between 60 and 120, 130 grams. And then once they have babies, I'm trying to step back so I can get a whole overview of this setup. It's a double shelf grow bed, water's pumped up to the top, runs back down through the second bed, runs through and down into the fish tank again. I'm running a external filter, takes out all the fish shit. I don't believe pumping the shit into the grow beds. I have worms in the grow beds as well. But um 
worms can only eat so much shit. Like, uh, I've got a lot of fish in there and I'm giving them the max amount of food for commercial standards. And, um, you need this external filter. Um, external filter runs on 16 watts. It's a good one from Einheim. Um, best quality for everything. Um, lights at the top of 236 waters. It goes on my salads. And down the bottom here, I've got um, the new T5s. I'm only running two globes out of four. Um, they're 54 watts each. Um, it seems to be enough for two globes. I don't believe in wasting power. And this is my fingling tank. Um, that little. A little net there um, is to keep my fingerlings in so they get sucked into the pump. Um, I like to run a filter all the time. And here I just have um, some antenna valves, we call them. Um, I don't know what the name is in English. There's another Einheim pump, one of the leading brands here in Switzerland. It's got a Venturi in it, some duckweed there on top. Duckweed's growing pretty well actually. I feed a lot to the fish. Let's see if we can have a quick gander at the new little babies. Yeah, you can barely see them. There's a few there. There, 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 there. Uh, pretty small. Only about a week old at the moment. again yeah so thanks for watching I'll do a lot more updates on my downstairs set up in the next few days um, to work in progress and uh, hopefully we have our new commercial set up again, going again soon I have a new business partner um, my old business partner a bit of a dick um, just no ambition just fucking wants money 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 you gotta find the right person to be in business with. This is a big key to um, business. It's very difficult to uh, find the right person. Hopefully now I have found the right person. As you can see the strawberries are going really well. Heaps of new baby plants coming out. Some runners going there. Some new red basilicum growing. As you can see, these are quite nice uh, basil plants. Had a bit of a problem with the aphids just recently. Um, this sugar soap fix them fuckers. Piss me off, I hate them. Garlic plants keep away a lot of other bad pests. Um, same with onions. These are all new salad. Um, see some new salad seedlings coming up from salads. Some red oak leaf and green oak leaf salads and so. You can see the water flow there through there is not so good. Um, my intention is to only have approximately four to six females and one or two, maybe one good male in this tank. At the moment I'm running about 21 fish in there. I had 30 in there for a while. Um, but that's all going to... Change now. I've got the downstairs set up. I've got some more basil going there. The salad's looking really healthy, as you can see. Small salad that we could ever eat. Like um, we eat salad every day, and uh, as you can see, this end is a bit thinner. We harvested out there yesterday. Uh, they'll be back in one day, like uh, two days time. They'll be full again. This was harvested probably two days ago. As you can see, it's full to the top again. I even burns from the lights, they grow so quick. Okay, thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed the update. Um, yeah, thanks for all your cool comments and videos. And talk to you soon. Ciao.